Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bow tie bracelet. As far as I know, it is my own creation, but, um, yeah. So what you will need is two C-clips. I'm sure there's a way to do it with one, but I just want to use two. So two C-clips, a hook, it is not necessary what type of hook you use, you can use plastic or metal, or any crochet hook that will fit in the pegs and you're comfortable with using. And then next, you will need your loom set up like this. Okay, so, um, get your loom ready for step one. So, well, Actually, this is step one. This is step two. So, first we need to figure out what colors we want to use. So, um, for the gray on this bracelet, I'm going to be using glow-in-the-dark white. For the red, I'm going to be using turquoise jelly. For the turquoise pieces, which is pretty much the bow tie part of it, um, I am going to be using rose jelly, also known as red violet, but um, most people just call it rose. And then for these little skin colored pieces inside of there, um, for that I'm going to be using black, and I'm sure we all know what black looks like, but black. So, um, now let's get ready for your loom step. So step two-ish. So you're going to have your red arrows pointing away from you. And I don't know if you could use one to crease them, but if you found some way to do it, make sure the part where you stick your hook in, so you stick your hook in like this, make sure that part is facing away from you. So, now we're going to start by laying down our white bands. So, you're just going to do a single chain up all the way on the back, uh, I mean on the side um, columns of your row. Side peg columns. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> um, so, just do a single chain all the way up. Make sure you push it down as you go. So you want to go all the way up to here even. And most of the time you would start my camera just does not like me today. But I've done a good bit of filming and it's fallen down a lot. So, um, like, you normally would go somewhere on here or something. But on this bracelet, you just start on the edges. Um, I don't really know why I made it that way, but yeah, I think it looks good. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. In any case, you're not better at instant looming and you don't know how to lay a single chain on the loom. I'm just showing you how now. Because this bracelet is really easy to make. Even though it looks like it's made on one loom, it is not. Well, actually, you can make it on one loom. And I will be doing a tutorial on that. And they probably will be getting published at the same time. And now I am done. So far, your loom should look like this. Okay. Now we are going to place this part. The bow tie things. Well, like this part of the bow tie that sticks out. 
because like the inside part of the tank that's the last thing um so what color you're going to use for that it doesn't really matter um i am going to be using tur wait i forgot what color was it oh yeah rose jelly for that and like i said earlier so what you want to do is take one of them and you're going to start off on the right side and instead of laying it like that you want to twist it and put it on as if you're starting a fish tail and then you're going to twist then you're going to put it on this peg Oopsies. so from this peg and just twist it on to the other side and now take some take one twist it on from the outside take one and twist it on as if you're making a fish tail and make sure you push all the bands down after you've laid them not clapping not capping bands though because if you push those down it makes it much harder to find the band you want especially if you're using similar colors and on this you are going to go all the way up your loom okay. Yeah, you're going to go all the way up your loom until right, hold on a second, until, until right here, because I kind of forgot, because you can make it go all the way to the end, but you have to start it differently, and when you don't make it go to the end, it was, it's easier to start. So I was just um, gonna make sure. So bow tie it, and this is also a separate bow tie within itself. Just as that, and make sure you do them both all to the same way. Okay, so now so far your loom should look like this. Our next step is going to be um, to place the skin colored bands that are in here. So for me, that's just black. And what you're going to do is you're just going to do a single chain all the way up the peg column like we did on the border. And you're starting from right here on the inside. Or you can start from the right side. It doesn't really matter because I don't mean it.
I remember being holding that way from me. And now this is what your, your loom should look like. Okay, so now we need to place the cap bands. And for that I'm going to be using turquoise. Or at least that's what I think I said at the beginning. I kind of forgot a little bit. And it doesn't matter where you start. So you're going to use triple looping, which is where you wrap it around three times. So it's on there once, twice, thrice. Just so you know that really is a word. Or you can do it on your hook. Like one, two, three, and then it doesn't work as well with jelly bands, but then you get it and place it. With jelly bands it's easier to just wrap it around. So one, two, three. One, two, right. One. Two. Dang it. One. Two. reason it's so hard for me to put cap bands on. Especially on camera. And so you've gone all of the, your pink ones. And what you're going to do now is um, go put this. It doesn't matter what color cap band, but I'm going to use black for my black bands. And you can turn it around if you want. And you're just going to do it on this peg and this peg. So, and these are going to be wrapped around twice. So there's just two little loops. One, two. But they're going to be stretched out. So put your hook in, stretch it out to the peg with the whites on it. Like that. And now you are ready to loop. If you think you know how to, um, you can go ahead and try and see if it's right, or just watch part two. Bye for now.